People can fly are doing something that really isn't the norm anymore for game launches, releasing their game fully complete. Imagine that. This video will cover what exactly they are doing with Outriders that should be the norm, but isn't. Don't forget to hit that sub button for your RPG news. Now, let's have a chat about the gaming industry. As we all know, Outriders was delayed recently to April 1st. The reasons were, we will spend this extra time fine tuning the game and focusing on delivering a fantastic play experience at launch. I know we've heard this before, most notably with CDPR and Cyberpunk, but the only thing people can fly in CDPR have in common is they're both Polish. But the delay isn't what this video is about. This video is about what the gaming industry has been doing as a whole for quite some time now. Does early access ring a bell? Because it should. Early access has allowed companies to release unfinished games and sell them as pre-alphas. I know it was meant to give the players the game early so they can check it out before release at a cheaper price. But I think companies and players have become accustomed to this kind of launch, even if the game isn't in an early access release. We can take Anthem, Fallout 76, the Marvel's Avengers game, and countless others. These games basically release when they were almost finished, and then the company tries to patch the issues day one. This is not a good practice. I know people's ability to wait is now basically destroyed because of social media and the quick ability to get gratification, but this style of game release has ruined games and IPs. Players think they want the game early and can deal with the bugs because they're sick of waiting for launch, but then the game comes out horrible and they complain about it. Personally, I think it's kind of making the studios lazy to a point, whether they know it or not, and they let the bugs slide because they can just fix it after launch. Now you might be asking yourself, what is People Can Fly doing differently? Well, the big one is obviously delaying their game to make it better. But with the delay, they announced a demo for their game. Companies have demos in early access with pre-orders all the time. Outriders demo will be completely free and offer all four classes. It's basically the full game with a constraint on how far you can go. Your characters and progress you earn in the demo will carry over to the main game. This is honestly kind of unheard of nowadays. You usually have to pre-order to try games so companies get an idea of their sales, using the demo as incentive. People can fly are giving people a free opportunity to play their game and decide for themselves if the game is good before any purchase is necessary. I really like this call. They easily could have followed the way that everyone else has, but instead they chose not to. To me, this makes me feel like they believe in their game to the fullest. They aren't hiding behind pre-orders, but are putting their game out there to do all the talking. I also believe Square Enix learned their lesson from the past launch of the Marvel Avengers game. That game launched with a lot of bugs and terrible online connections, and cost Square Enix a ton of money. I still think they didn't care and wanted to launch the game before all the big titles came out in the fall. And well, they learned they actually couldn't keep up with their issues. But it is what it is, and Outriders shouldn't face the same fate as I don't think they want that reputation of releasing any more unfinished games. I hope Outriders does really well and potentially maybe can cause a little shift in how studios and publishers release their games in the future. I know it's more profitable the way they do it now, but the games are suffering from it. At least, I think so. So let me know in the comments if you agree or not. Stick around for some more videos coming up. Don't forget to sub to the channel for your RPG news. And until next time, peace.